hello and welcome to this video where we're going to look at the energy changes that are involved when you do a bungee jump. So here is a really quick, uh, quick little pattern that we do now to demonstrate um, the changes in energy when we're going for the bungee jump. So here is my little person here. Um, they are just about to do bungee jump. So at this point they have lots of gravitational potential energy. And they start to fall down. They're losing the gravitational potential energy and they're increasing kinetic energy. Just before they get to the bottom, this is when their kinetic energy is going to be um, greatest. Once they get to the bottom and the elastic starts to drink, uh, stretch, sorry, this is when they have elastic potential energy. And once they start to move back up again, that's when they start to gain uh, kinetic energy again. So, so stretched, stretched we have, we have elastic. elastic, when it's moving, moving we have kinetic, when we're at when the, we're top, the top we have we gravitational have potential energy. So here are some diagrams just to show you that again. At the top all of our energy is gravitational potential energy. Now when I'm sort of in this example I'm going to ignore any energy lost um, as friction or heat energy. When we're halfway down, the amount of gravitational potential energy we have is decreasing and the amount of kinetic energy we have is increasing. Just before we get to the bottom, that's when we have the greatest kinetic energy. And right at the bottom, all of the energy has turned from kinetic energy into elastic potential energy. This is the moment when we're at the bottom.